As a forensic scientist, Mark Bosey is treating these hotel rooms like crime scenes. They're looking for hidden evidence of semen and other human secretions. But these are not crime scenes. They're rooms picked at random by the I-Team to show you what you're being exposed to when you rent a hotel room for the night. Does that look discouraging or what? Using an ultraviolet light, what we found was frankly disgusting. Encrusted on the bedding was apparent semen, vaginal secretions, blood, and other human waste. We found it on the bedspread. We found it in the blankets. We even found it on a wall. Bosey took samples, lifting the material into cotton swabs and clipping fibers from the blankets. The I-Team accompanied Bosey back to Chicago, where he runs a forensic laboratory. Inside these bags are the samples, which will prove hotels and motels in Syracuse are not laundering blankets and bedding as often as you might expect. So you got the university and the days in and the air flight. Bosey and his assistants put the samples into test tubes. When they added chemicals, you could plainly see the swabs and fibers change color. Remember that ugly stain we found in the blanket at the Days Inn? Now, when we, when we pulled that sample, you were surprised at the color as it was showing under the black light. It had a, that yellowish tinge to it. Does this tell you anything about why? No. No. Other than it was an extremely heavy deposit and not a smear. And what about that apparent blood stain we found at the Air Flight Motel? Okay, so and we're seeing that turn a light uh, a violet. violet. It's a positive for blood, for hemoglobin. But the real test comes under the microscope. It took some time, but Bosey was able to find an intact sperm cell, proof positive. So this is what we found. At the University Sheraton, two semen stains at the top of the blanket tested positive. Another suspected semen stain, negative. At the Air Flight Motel, two semen stains in blankets, positive. A blood stain on the bedspread, positive. A suspected blood stain, negative. At the Days Inn, positive tests for semen in both the blanket and that splatter stain on the wall. Now what we've shown you may be shocking or disgusting to you, but if the truth be known, what we found in these hotel rooms is a lot more common than you may think. Bosey says he's tested hotel rooms across the country and never found one that was completely clean. It's just, it's an upsetting thing. Uh, it's something you wouldn't want your child eating, you know, taking a blanket and putting it in their mouth or near their face. I wouldn't want anything near my face like that. Bosey says the solution is simple. If the blankets and bedspreads were laundered, they would be free of semen, blood, vaginal secretions, and other human waste. And perhaps you would sleep better at night. Jim Kenyon, Action News.